Ahoy folks, Triss here with a quick update on The Legend of Zelda. As we reach the one year anniversary of Tears of the Kingdom, that incredible game that released last year that I still can't stop thinking about, some new items have been announced in celebration. Nothing in the game itself, though. We're talking about merch and more. First up is this awesome Master Sword replica. This toy replica of the Master Sword looks to be life-size, at 105 centimeters in length. Since it's a toy, it also plays eight different Zelda songs, apparently. I really hope one of those songs is the fanfare that plays when you actually pull the Master Sword. I can just imagine all the videos people will make replicating iconic scenes like that one. Anyway, the sword also has some buttons that make it vibrate too. But probably the best part is that it also comes with a scabbard and a pedestal for display. The next item revealed is the official soundtrack release. Much like the Breath of the Wild release, this is every song from the game spread out over a lot of CDs. In this case, nine discs. And just like the Breath of the Wild soundtrack, we're getting the trailer music too. Which means we'll finally get the clean version of the music in the third trailer. Ugh, I can't wait. The special version of the soundtrack also comes with a little Master Sword USB containing 15 songs. Finally, we have The Masterworks, the full art book for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which is, of course, going to be filled with lots of concept art, various spoilers, and if it's like the Breath of the Wild one, probably quite a bit of lore details too. Now, unfortunately, so far these items have only been announced for Japan. Though many import websites are taking pre-orders to send them internationally, the Masterworks is one that I think may be worth waiting on. Creating a champion from Breath of the Wild was released in English eventually, so I suspect the same will happen here with the Tears of the Kingdom book. That being said, seeing all of the concept art is going to be incredible, so if you don't mind that it's only in Japanese, it may be worth keeping an eye on after all. So, what do you guys think? We will be picking... Will you be picking up any of these items for Tears of the Kingdom's first anniversary? I know right now I'm really eyeing that Master Sword and the soundtrack release. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to Game Explained for plenty more on The Legend of Zelda, and other things gaming as well of course. Until next time, farewell.